Everybody hates traffic jams, and as we continue to look up for new solutions, we'll stop. Because you should have been looking down the whole time. Elon Musk's latest scheme. I like that. Should we just call them his schemes now? Building underground tunnels has been the proposed solution by Elon Musk. Musk recently tweeted how he would build a boring machine and just start digging. And Musk actually does have some pull here now being on Trump's economic advisory committee. And Trump has said that he will spend one trillion on American infrastructure. Can you just like imagine though, like Elon Musk in like a little drilling machine, just like going down, like building these tunnels underground. <laughs> it's gonna be great. So it's obvious that Elon Musk doesn't like traffic and apparently he doesn't like speeding either. Tesla's new autopilot update prevents the driver from setting the autopilot over the speed limit, so now you can't look cool speeding down your new Tesla on the highway. The overall purpose of this update was to increase safety, and well, going the speed limit is certainly one way to do that. The other features added during this update included alerts that would let drivers know when they need to take the wheel. I guess Teslas aren't for speed racers. While Uber's self-driving cars have been a huge hit in San Francisco, they're being forced out. While it's not necessarily due to the few hiccups that have occurred during the experiment, it is primarily due to the company's refusal to get a permit from the DMV. While Uber has stated that they did nothing wrong, claiming that since there was a driver present at all times, it was not fully autonomous, they are still being forced out and are now moving to Arizona, where the governor tweeted out an invitation to innovation. Look at this picture. It's super ironic how the Uber self-driving cars are on top of the auto self-driving truck. Uber acquired the self-driving truck company Auto recently, and this was a fortunate coincidence since the company did mapping of the roads in Arizona prior to acquiring the company. Essentially, this means that Uber will be able to start right away instead of having to map out an entirely new area. While Arizona is not quite as good of a place as San Francisco, it is still a good test ground for the new autonomous vehicles. Finally, Pokemon Go is back, and it's for your Apple Watch. CEO John Hank tweeted out acknowledging that it had been quite some time, but they were glad to finally have it out. Pokemon Go is begging for people to come back, and while there's no way they'll ever reach the numbers they initially had at launch, the numbers of daily users playing the game has actually increased recently, which is good. And it is clear that Pokemon Go is the victor over Super Mario Run, but both have had an impact on mobile gaming and what mobile devices have to offer. What do you guys think? Do you think that underground tunnels will really be the solution for our traffic? Will you be playing Pokemon Go? And what do you think about autonomous Ubers? Let me know in the comments down below and drop a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, go hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to bell me. And I'll see you guys in the next one.